Good morning and Merry Christmas, everyone. For those of you that celebrate, uh, we are on day one of the brand new week, wrapping up the holiday event. And we have quite a bit of sleep points to collect as a result of the end of the holiday event. So 1,325, which brings our total to 17,518. So doing pretty good on the sleep point front. And since it is Monday, we have a, a long episode ahead of us. But before we get into it and I forget because I could very easily forget with everything we have going on today, let's grab our daily gift and ingredient ticket. I will definitely make use of this. And also with how last night ended, I will be uh, doing things a little bit out of order again today, as you'll see later on when we get to the the breakfast part. So we're on session 149. Eight and a half hours of sleep, almost exactly. I definitely didn't wake up at 830. I woke up at like 915, 920. So that's weird. I wonder how that happened. Huh. There's a lot of dozing time right there at the end. Not really sure how that happened. I mean, either way, we got a full eight and a half hours, so we got the maximum drowsy score we can have anyway. So it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of interesting. A slumbering type sleep, which doesn't matter for the event. It will be balanced. Hopefully we can break the 60 million, 65 million at least. Barely broke 60, so we got 61.3 million. And we got a full board. We actually got a three star sleep. That's interesting. That very possibly could be something new. Yo, that looks cool. A top belly Arbok. All right. I think that was seven. Yes, it was. We got Togepi, Ghastly, Sfeel, Metapod, Sfeel, Geodude, and Cubone. A lot of Metapod this event. Kind of weird. There's seven of them, so that still leaves two new sleep styles, and we know the Arbok is one. 13,888 Dream Shards just for the one. That is why Luck Incense were very powerful last night really for this whole event actually kind of surprised that i've almost got all the arbok sleep styles let's see what else we got that is new new magnemite so that's going to be our three star sleep style unlinked sleep and another ten thousand dream shards on that which is good because I spent some dream shards off off screen yesterday. <laughs> it's kind of interesting that Magnemite doesn't have a and a top belly. It'd be really easy to do it, but I guess because it can't actually rest on the belly, they didn't want to make one. Even though you could just have it lay on the ground. We did get a hungry Togepi. Yikes, that's the only hungry we got is unfortunate because really the magnemite is the one i really want to take home and i already have two pretty decent uh togepi line pokemon i did put in some work on the arbog before but like i said the magnemite is really what i want to take home that is the main thing i want to take home out of all of this so let's see what we can do First things first, let's give it, I don't know why the game is being really slow today. Let's give it a regular Poke Biscuit, see if that gets us a critical capture. Nope, no dice. And then, nope, I don't want to give it another Poke Biscuit, at least not yet. Let's give it the bonus biscuit. I cannot get my Tapping accuracy. 
Only plus three. Uh, and it's all full, so it doesn't matter anyway. I was debating on whether I wanted to feed it more, but I guess it doesn't matter. So it looks like, unfortunately, for the final day of the event, we aren't going to be taking anything home. I'm really not even interested in feeding the Togepi a regular biscuit, just because, like I said, I have two really good ones already. So, not super worried about it at this point. So, no new friends today. But we still got the Atop Belly Ekans, which, uh, you know what? I know someone in the comments was saying they really needed Magnemite's candies. It ain't much, but we're going to send it out anyway, because it's rare. So we should have got 2,493 research XP, which is enough to hit rank 41, which gives us a Poke Biscuit. I'm surprised they're still giving out just regular Poke Biscuits at this point. Uh, Dream Cluster, I think it's an M, and an Energy Pillow. And then we got 25,596 total Dream Shards. I did forget, I meant to put as many Dream Shard bonus Pokemon on my team as I could before I went to sleep, and I completely forgot about that. That said, um, the shop is still lit up red. That rhymed. I didn't mean to do it that time. Uh, it's probably because we have the good sleep day bundle is available now. So if you're interested in that, it's available. I'm not interested in it because it's way too many diamonds for me to spend. But let's go ahead and move on to choosing our next research site. I already know where we're going to go. Mainly because I kind of feel bad for what happened last time. But before we get into all that, we've got the weekly summary that I always forget about. And I just remembered right before I mentioned it. Uh, we did make it to Master 11. With 613,000 final strength. Uh, gains from berries, 339,000, which is down. But that's expected the last two days. We only had ingredient gatherers on the team. Not that big a deal. Gains from cooking are up, probably way up, 274,000. So that is good, and that's probably because of all the slowpoke tail salads that we made. We got six handy candies for it. I will definitely take that because we're going to use some here a little bit later. Sleep midpoint, I'm surprised lined up as much as it did. Um, I actually got a pretty decent amount of sleep this week for once. 71%. I'm actually just curious. Uh, Pokemon befriended. Only 22% of the Pokemon here have been befriended. But 71% of the sleep styles have been studied. But we are going to go to Snowdrop Tundra. Because I kind of felt bad. I didn't even think it all the way through when I asked you guys to vote last time on where you wanted me to go. And then y'all picked Snowdrop. And then I forgot that I was going to be leaving that week. And not giving y'all a full week on Snowdrop. So we're going to do a full week on Snowdrop now. We know what berries we're going to get, and curries are actually a pretty good, pretty good recipe for us. As you can see, I did switch out. We got 20 diamonds coming in right off the bat, which is good. I did switch out the team. One week rental period for the good camp set has ended. Makes sense. Switched out the team a little bit. You can see where we're going with this. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really good week, but we're going to get breakfast going first as my ingredient pouch is either full or almost full. And I also did a thing. I um, spent entirely too many diamonds on expanding my ingredient pouch. So I think it's at like 220 now. But there is one specific recipe that I know we can make, and I just have to remember how to make it. I forgot exactly what goes into it. Actually, did I? I think it's just a ton of fiery herbs. Let's see. It is this many fiery herbs and this many tails. And we're going to fill out the rest with mushrooms 
and a little bit of cocoa. Actually, you know what? I want to do two cocoa, two eggs. I want to see how many, how much strength eggs give. But let's see, 167 on the mushrooms, 151 for the cocoa, and 115 for the eggs. Okay, so cocoa is way more valuable than eggs. Good to know. 10,286 on the first cook of the grilled tail curry. I should put it to like level eight, I think. Nope, level seven. Unfortunately, didn't get extra tasty, but still a new recipe, still more diamonds. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be focusing on the grilled tail curry for the week. It would be nice to make it as much as we can because of how tough it's gonna be here on Snowdrop but I don't know that we can consistently get the tails we need. We could try. It's, it's only eight per cook. So it might be worth having Slowbro on the team just to get it every couple of days. Because I think Slowbro only averages about five or six tails a day. So it's not the best, but it might be worth it in the long run. Well, let's go ahead and collect from everybody real fast. Now that we know we've got curries, uh we can kind of put together a better team oh hey there's a tail right there two of them good job celio maybe we can make the <laughs> the grilled tail curry more than i thought puts us at basic two already which is a pretty pretty good start for uh no drop because we have historically not had the best luck here i do have yeah 220 is my current ingredient space uh where is that eevee at where did you run off to oh it's hiding over here in the grass <laughs> there we go all right so now let's check. Do we have any new news? No new news, but we did get a new medal. Let's see what that's about. Oh, we got three new medals. 30 ice types studied, 100 poison types studied, and 50 ghost types studied. 10 diamonds, a dream cluster S, and a handy candy S. And then we have new notes for our brand new grilled tail curry which gives us another 20 diamonds let's back it up and then let's see what you guys were up to last night let's see what y'all found 37 reports with one two three four five six seven eight nine nine doubled up so that's almost exactly 25 percent it's just shy only because there were 37 reports instead of 36, but right around 25%, which is good. That's what we like to see. And somebody sending out that ditto candy. Good job. Speaking of candy, let's see if we earned any more handy candies before I go do this. We did. We got five for the seven incense. I forgot all about that. And what's that? Uh, what's that incense? Was that slack off? Yeah, slack off incense this week if we get to master two, which is not impossible. We might be able to get there. We're going to have a pretty decent team, I think. Uh, I'm going to take this week pretty seriously and try to just max out the rank on Snowdrop. We haven't done that really in the past. We've kind of understood that Snowdrop was going to be tough and haven't really pushed too much, but one thing I did yesterday, I used uh, used a lot of Dream Shards to candy boost a couple of my Pokemon up to a better level. I took the uh, the Toxicroak that we found, got that to level 25, and I also got this Rattata to level 25. So that took uh, quite a bit of Dream Shards, but we do have enough Handy Candies. We have seven right now, so we need 23, no, 33. So I need to use 11 Handy Candies to give us enough 
to evolve this Rattata to eradicate. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the team builder. Or actually, I'm going to go to the box first because I need to update. This Rattata is no longer a Rattata. It is now eradicate. Eradicate. <laughs> Fun play on words. There we go. Shiny Raticate, which actually looks really good. This is one of the better shinies. That darker red fur pattern. I like it. We leveled that up or evolved it. So that's charge energy level three. So anytime it's main skill triggers, it will restore its own energy by 21, which automatically puts it up into the next tier of production. So with this one typically i don't collect from berry gatherers too much but with the ingredient finding down nature i think it's probably going to be worth it to collect from this guy pretty often just to try to get that main skill to proc we're not going to get too many ingredients from when we do and the few ingredients we get will be apples which could be helpful in some of these recipes um so not the worst i think i will collect from this guy pretty pretty regularly and then if we're going to be making ooh, that's the question is what do we want to make consistently because that's going to determine who we need on the team but i guess before we get to that let's look at you what do you need you need to be level 33 to evolve nice maybe i should have put some candy boost on you um, how far can we get? Not quite to level 33, I bet. No, no, we can't. So let's go and check this calculator and see. You are level 26. Let's click 25, up one, and you need 211. And then I have 112 candies. So I want to be able to see all levels to get to level 33 would take 23 extra handy candies and that wouldn't leave me any to evolve it. So I don't think we're going to do that just yet. I don't think we have. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. So I think for now we just use the extra candies i mean realistically we could probably use a little bit more what would it take to get to level 30. i don't know that i want to use that many it would take 91 which would only leave us with 21. i don't know that i want to use that many because we don't know how many we're going to have by the time it does get to level 33 and we're not really worried about bringing in sausage so getting to level 30 is not that big a deal so I think I am just going to use, uh, let's see, we'll just get him to level 28. Puts us a little below 80, but it's not bad. And then we'll go back to the Pokemon box and we will fix that up. Where are we at? There you are. It was now level 28. Then I think that's all we're really going to do for these guys for now. We do need to figure out a consistent recipe that we can make. I kind of want to leave the Eevee on the team because this is the one we're going to evolve. But I'm also unsure. I've been second guessing evolving the Espeon. The more I think about it, the more I kind of feel like Glaceon may actually be more beneficial just for the increased pot space. And this one does have a pretty high skill trigger chance once it gets to level 25. So I'm kind of thinking about, well, also plus the nature with main skill chance up. So I'm really thinking about maybe evolving this one into a Glaceon instead of an Espeon kind of thinking that might be more beneficial, but I'm not sure yet. Mm. 
so that's kind of where we're at with that one but i do want to leave it on the team just for getting this sleep uh what is it the sleep requirement what do they call it the hours of sleep logged only need about two more days and it should be full and ready to evolve into an espion if i want to do that so i guess in the next 48 hours i need to decide what i'm going to do but then as far as curries go slowpoke tail curry could actually be pretty easy so i think just to see what happens we might try it let's throw Let's get Slowbro back on the team. And then let's get, uh, let's go ahead and put our Gengar back on the team. The one we still need to level up a little more. I don't wanna get him to level 30 yet. Cause I don't want the mushrooms to clog up our fiery herb gathering. I think we'll, I think we'll do this for now. I kind of think we're in a good place. I don't think we need to really level anything up. I mean, we could potentially level up the Eevee, but there's not much of a point other than getting it to level 25. Just for the skill trigger chance. Hmm. What would it take? Let's just double check real quick. I mean, we have plenty of candy thanks to Eevee week. So we could, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. There's no point in holding off. We're gonna have to do it eventually. It's gonna be very beneficial for that skill trigger even before it's uh, we evolve it. The ingredient magnet will help. It's not a bad skill to have, So why not? Skill trigger M with main skill chance up. Hopefully we can get a, a few ingredient magnet triggers and get some tails out of it at least. Um, but this is looking like a solid team. I think we're in a really good place. Like I said, I am going to try to really push Snowdrop Tundra strength this week and see just how far we can get. We are at 5,279, which isn't the, the required. I think the required is like 6,400. But the last thing we need to do to see exactly where we're at, I don't know why I backed out. We need to go and put our team into the team analysis and see what that's looking like. So first up, we have our cool shiny Raticate, which we will be collecting from, so we're not gonna say its pack is always full. Uh, same with the Celio, its trigger is actually beneficial, so we'll leave that as is. Then we need our slow bro. Where are you at? You should be kind of early. But not too early. There you are. Uh, our level 26 Gengar. And our now level 25 Eevee, which I need to go change. But that's SB on 97%. We can just update team analysis here. And then we'll save. Uh, we no longer have the good camp set on, so we need to take that off. And no drop. Are we at only 5%? Probably should have checked that before. That would have been smart. Let's see. I think we're at 10% on Snowdrop now. Uh, yes, 10%. So we do need to change that. 10%. Close. Now we should be able to see only Ultra 3. Interesting. I thought it would be kind of higher. I thought this Raticate would actually be putting in a lot more work. Um, hmm. I mean, it is a conservative estimate. I'm, I would like to hit Master if we can. But we'll just have to see. Have to see how it goes. It, Yeah, that's, um, oh, it would help if I actually click Snowdrop Tundra, too. That does only put it at Ultra 4, but 
setting it to snowdrop tundra would help so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting week we might need to rethink this another day but for now this is where we're gonna sit we're gonna see how this goes and hopefully things go well but that said that's what i've got for today again merry christmas to everyone that celebrates happy holidays to those of you that don't and to anybody that doesn't have any holidays right about now i hope you have a great winter time especially the end of the year and a fantastic new year's but that's what i've got for today appreciate you coming by and watching the video make sure to hit the like button if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more and until next time later dudes